Hey everyone, it's Deagle Beagle. So today we're going to go over Greninja. And this Pokemon potentially could be pretty good because it does have high speed. It does outspeed the Thunderous, Tornadus, those type of Pokemon. You would want Timid with it because if you look at the speed tiers, you'll see that you need it. You need Timid to outspeed like Thunderous and Tornadus and whatnot. So, after Thunderous and Tornadus, there's not a lot of Pokemon that will be used. Alola and Persian won't be used that much. Neither will any of these, probably at that speed rate. So, I would personally just go with... I would probably just go with, like, 180 speed. And you outspeed Thunderous and whatnot. Put max attack or max special attack and put the rest in bulk. It's probably slightly more <clears throat> excuse me, more efficient to do this. To take one HP off and put four and four in each defensive stat. Now Torrent's not a great ability. It's I, I suppose it isn't useless, but I would use Protean or Battle Bond. And Protean, though, doesn't really give you a boost to your typing. But you could use it to give you an additional stab, like for Ice Beam. And... Doesn't get scald anymore. Let's let's look at the moves it gets. Oh yeah, it gets hydro cannon. That's not a bad move, but you don't you can't use that very often without penalty. Okay, I would use dark pulse with it. I would use hmm. Dark Pulse, let's see. Let's see its other moves, though, first. You could always go for the the gimmicky fling with King's Rock. And you get more flinches from your other moves, too. But I don't know if I would. So, you would probably... Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Water Shuriken, I would use that. That is a priority move, and it's going to, let's see, actually, if, if there's any other moves with loaded dice that you could use. Probably not, because... You'll probably want it to be a special attacker, and there's not a lot of those type of moves that it gets. The, okay, so I would just use it with outloaded dice. And as far as the other moves, I would probably use a second water move. So probably not Terra Water Blast, because you don't have to Terra just to use a water move. Could you make it mixed? Uh, possibly, but I wouldn't. I would just give it like Hydro Cannon or Protect or something. So, here, here. If you're using a Specs one, you could use this. And then, use you could use Pro Protean or Battle Bond. Because... Wait, how does Battle Bond even work? Because it makes it seem like it's random. But maybe... Oh no, it's not random. It, it raises all three of those things, I think. Let's double check. That actually could be pretty good. I should test that out. Law. Defeating, no, when it knocks out a target, it's bond with the trainer's strengthen and its attack. 
special attack and speed stats are boosted. You would probably just use two out of those three stats, like speed and probably just special attack. Unless you make it physical. I'll probably show a physical Greninja as well. Even though you won't take advantage of Ice Beam or Blizzard. So I wouldn't personally use that. Most likely. So as far as the Terra goes. By the way, give it Battle Bond. And the Terra could be... I don't think it should be water. I think it should be like ice or something. Well, it depends if you want it defensive or not. I think if you're using specs, you might want it to be offensive. And you don't have protein, so you might want uh, Terra Ice, because you'd be using Ice Beam a lot. Or you could use Blizzard if you use it with, like, Obama Snow. But then it's like you maybe should use Bundle instead. Even though Bundle doesn't get Water Shuriken or a Stab Dark Pulse or Hydro Cannon. But, I don't know. Um, Greninja, for some reason though, I'm I'm just thinking that with Greninja, with my Water Shuriken, you would probably want, like, a non-choice move so that you can protect. I'm thinking, like, Sash or something. This would be a really cool Pokemon, but you might want, you might want Focus Sash. And then you're able to use Protect if you need to. I don't think Dark hits very well into the meta. Um, where was that video I made? There is a video that I made of basically all the weaknesses of um, the new Pokemon. And I don't believe Dark was very, I don't believe Dark was very up there on the weaknesses. That's, what was it, four Pokemon are two times weak to it, but who though? You would have to go to the, the tier list, the picture. Um, let's scroll up. So... It's going to be hard to see it, but which Pokemon are weak to? No, not two Pokemon four times weak. I think it, I meant to say four Pokemon two times weak. I don't know. Cresselia, Basket Legion, and a few others. Wordier, Typhlosion. That was probably it. Yeah, that's not a whole lot, so... I don't know about Dark Pulse. You could even take Dark Pulse off. But it does... What's the flinch rate? Is it 30 or 20? Yeah, 20. So, Protect. I almost wish it was like an Ice Water Pokemon. Kind of like um, Bundle. But then it would be too similar to Bundle. So maybe you should use Dark Pulse. But the niche that this Pokemon would have that Bundle doesn't have is Battle Bond. And water shuriken. So, this is a good priority move. It's one of the only special priority moves. But just in general, though, it has similar weaknesses to bundle. It has less speed than bundle. So, unless you're really using battle bond well, or maybe protein, I don't know about Greninja. It's probably lower tier. It's, yeah, Bundle would be top tier. Um, Greninja would be probably a step below it. But I really would like to try it out with Battle Bond. And lastly, let's make one more set with it that's physical. And we'll make a defensive Greninja as well. I would just like to troll people with Water Shuriken and, like, Battle Bond. You can't really take advantage of Protean that much because Terra Stall already changes it to the type and they nerfed um, Protean, I believe, where, yeah, you can only change to the type that 
the move is one time. See, it even says that. However, Battle Bond, you have to KO a Pokemon. So if you don't KO a Pokemon, then it won't do anything. I suppose it could be mixed. Yeah, let's do a Life Orb one, actually, because you could still use Water Shuriken. So... Doesn't he get, yeah, it gets liquidation. It gets. Let's look at the physical moves now because I never really looked at them. Doesn't it get a fighting move? Uh, sorry, a, a dark move? Night Slash? Um, I guess. And then, even though I don't know if I would even use a dark move, because there's not a ton of dark weaknesses, but it does get stabbed. So, yeah, there's not a lot of good physical moves. It gets Ice Punch. But that's like a purely physical set. I don't know about that. If you're going to use that, yeah, that doesn't even, I wouldn't even use this. Uh, if you're using water shuriken, maybe with uh, like protein, but I don't think I would personally use Greninja in this way. A good defensive Terra type, though, would be hmm, it's weak to grass, electric, d fighting, bug. Am I missing something? I think that's it. Oh, fairy. So like five things, not a great defensive ter defensive type. So steel would still be weak to fighting. What about poison? Poison would actually probably be the best to resist a lot of what it's weak to. Then fire, fire, maybe fire, poison or fire. Okay. Um, that probably sums it up for Greninja. I don't think it's that great of a Pokemon. It's almost always outclassed. I think its main uh, potential would be with Battle Bond. But, yeah, this is how I would personally use it. I would really try to power up it as much as possible so you're more likely to get the Battle Bond boost. And don't use Scarf with it. Just use Choice Specs. Go for as much offense as you possibly can and get that kill however you can. If you have to choice specs plus, yeah, the Terra Ice Beam to kill the, the Thunderous, go for it. Uh, let's see if it takes it out without it, though. And you could even use Protean on the choice specs set, by the way, if you just want to take out them. Basically before, yeah, getting the boost. But getting also a speed boost would be really nice. Let's just pretend for the sake of argument it's max HP for like Thunderous or Tornadus. So a Choice Specs Protean Ice Beam would one shot. So maybe you should just use that because... Otherwise, you got to use Terra Ice. Even though it's like, you could use Bundle with Freeze Dry, but actually, or Blizzard, but I don't know if Bundle would one-shot. With Blizzard, it would, but you have to have a Bomb of Snow for that. So if you don't want to have to have a Bomb of Snow, then maybe go for that. But actually, we should calculate a Bundle with Ice Beam. Wait, why is Protean... No, I meant to do Terrastall. Oh, Terrastall, Terrastall and, yeah, Protean are the same. I don't know what I was thinking. Iron Bundle with Ice Beam would actually be a pretty good tech, or whatever you call it, for killing the Thunderous and Tornadus and whatnot. Yeah, 
that's a pretty good chance of one-shotting them. And they might not even use max HP. They might, they'll might. they probably use, like... Well, maybe for Tornados they will. But for Thunderous, they would probably use... They, actually, they might. If they're just spamming Thunder Wave. Um, it's hard to say. But I like those odds. 81% chance of one-shotting them. If they use max HP even. Because most likely they won't... Well, I should say most likely they won't use max HP, but most likely they won't quite be using max HP. They'll probably be using, like, well, maybe they will half of the time, but the other half of the time they'll use, like, um, not quite max HP, but, like, some, like, attack or special attack and speed, depending on if it's, if it's Defiant or Prankster or whatnot, so... Yeah, bundle looks good. Uh, but this video is about Greninja. But I, I got to compare it to bundle because it's probably the most similar Pokemon to it. Um, overall, I'd say it's like medium tier, usually outclassed by bundle. But it does have a niche with Battle Bond, especially or Protean. Thanks for watching.